What's good, homo squad? It's your boy, homo Ziggy. We back here with another reaction for y'all, and we're back with another CJ the champ. And this one is Alucard, the Count of Black Air Force Energy. Yeah, let's face it with Alucard, he's a nigga who is ready for all the smoke. Because one thing's for sure, him, he don't give a damn. Who you is whether you is a vampire or in his terms a fake ass vampire because you don't know if he's good you don't know if he's evil well we know he's damn well evil but sometimes it is what it is with him so he just he's just the type of anime character who literally just wants to smoke wherever he goes so we about to check this out. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my socials out there. And without further ado, let's get in the video. I tell him like this right here. I likes you. He likes you. And I want you. And he won't. Now we can do this the easy way or the, the hard, hard way. way. The choice is yours. What you want, Luke? What's it gonna be? I, I, I asked you a question, Luke. I can't hear you, Luke. Uh, 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 I don't want to answer. I, 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 excuse me, I ain't hear you, Luke. Hmm. Oh, sound like to me, you want it the hard way. <laughs> hey, what you think you're going to bring your little dumb ass back here? Ladies and gentlemen, it is finally time to return to this big ass, <laughs> claustrophobic, crowded. Yeah, I ain't even gonna hold y'all. I think it's finally time to remodel. So, uh, since yeah. I guess this is our season finale, why not end off with a bang and cover a founding member? <laughs> now, I know some of y'all are probably wondering, hey, yo, wait a minute, CJ. Uh, I see the title of the video and a uh, homie's not there. And you're right, because it's a retcon. Mm -hmm. So, just go with Yeah. Let's face it, even though we see newer people there, even, like, look, you see all of them there, right? From Slade, to Draken, to Kenpachi, to ba to Yujiro, to Vegeta, Omni-Man, Aizen, and all of these niggas. Yeah, Mikey, of course, Aaron, all of them, right? The fact that you don't see Alucard there, because, like he said, this is retro, so... You got to go with the OG OG members. It's not there. And you're right. Because it's a retcon. So just go, go with, with it. it. Okay. See, that's <laughs> why I love y'all, man. <laughs> so uh, let's just go ahead and get started. So uh, without further ado. And you already know, once I turn it down, because I know with, if especially when, especially when it comes to a CJ the Champ video, you know he's always going to have sound effects. So trust me. I'm not, I'm not trying to hear that damn Undertaker one because it's going to scare the shit out of me. So I have to turn it down. I do. Exhibit A. Mm -hmm. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you Exhibit A, King Vamp. So we start off with three police officers playing cod zombies against a Catholic priest. Yeah. It's not going so well for him. Two of them already done got fucking they all gonna need a revive. So police girl is the last one standing in. It looks like she is not clutch. So meanwhile, we cut over to Integra. She high as hell smoking a Zaza right now. And she like, all right, listen up, cut. We dealing with vampires and shit. So uh, y'all is not needed. My asset will take care of this. Asset, who the fuck? Yes, my asset. King Vamp, the greatest <laughs> op to ever live. Alucard. Alucard. Oh. Nights like this make me so hot. A perfect night for a perfect pack. Not this cool, so then blah, blah. later on, we <laughs> come back to the vampire that's being an absolute horn dog right now. Bro's like, I'm gonna kill you, but first, I'm gonna beat up all them booty cheeks. That's right, me and the boys are about to get the chugga 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 chugga. And I'm the caboose. <sighs> so you like sloppy seconds, huh? Wait a minute. If I'm counting correctly here, you got like 20, 30 other niggas here. And you said that you're the 
moose? Oh my god, my nigga, you a nasty freaky some bitch, aren't you? <sighs> Fuck you, shoot that nigga! So all these ghouls start shooting this man, and, and this man is taking no damage at all! <laughs> bro is eating every single bullet. So then yeah. bro starts regenerating, he's like, wow! To every goddamn bullet. It's, you know with CZ the champ, he ain't always gonna do these long ass videos, so yeah. But took every single bullet still stand. This new god mode that I just installed is amazing. So <laughs> bro pulls out the blicky and just starts going crazy. Fuck out, fuck out, fuck out, fuck out, everybody. Bring around the Rosie. Like, oh god, who the fuck are you? My name is King Vamp Alugar. But some people also like to call me the Crimson Fucker. Shout out Team Four Star. Eh, I don't take another step or else I'll beat our cheeks right now. So then this man Alucard asks his Saris, yo, police girl, are you a virgin? A, a, a what? Answer, bitch, have you had your back blown out and all? Uh, no. So he plays her in her yitty. Man's gonna collide on him. Nah, bro, this man a different breed. Mind you, this is the first 15 minutes of the first episode. And bro's Damn. out here blicking ghouls, zombies, and Catholic priests. So while Saris is basically bleeding out right now. And she, and this is where the part where this nigga out of car literally wanted her. He literally was asking her before she was dying. Do you want to live forever? Yeah, I don't give a, look, yeah, y'all yeah, see it like this. I don't care. Is how I want to do my reactions. So I hope y'all still hear me. But yeah, this nigga Alucard was literally asking her, "Do you want to still? Do you want to? Do you want to still be alive, or you want to be dead?" And she said, "Yes, she want to be alive still." Now Alucard comes up to her. He's like, "Hey, police girl." You want to become a vamp? I mean, really, <laughs> you have no choice. I mean, you At could either point. bleed out here and die or become a vampire. And to be honest, you dying would be a waste. <laughs> My God, you are fine. All right, I will let you arrest me any day, police girl. <laughs> so long story short, Saris ends up becoming a vampire. So later on, yeah. they get sent on this mission to hunt down this vampire couple. So this man, mm. Alucard, saw some wall bake in the oh, door, oh, absolutely oh, blasting oh, 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 with oh, F&J oh, bullets. Bro, bust down the door like, what's good? So then do unloads the entire clip of a ooze into him. But you know, obviously, <laughs> that's not going to work, my boy. So bro starts walking to him, and he's like, hmm, caught you and your girl butt booty naked. Vamp boy and vamp girl sitting in a tree. P-A-C-K-I-N-G. P-A-C-K-I-O. Packing. Don't, don't fall for me. Okay, I had to. Anytime, look, for, for many times when we making up nursery them old time songs and such. Why I'm saying old time? Like them little kids songs and such when, when we were kids. I know I'm still technically a kid, I'm t even though I'm 22, but still. We have to, we spelling our words that nigga, shit. So, don't get me started. Hey, don't get me started. A-I-N-G. <laughs> 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 him on the wall, yo. Nah, Loki, bro, I ain't gonna hold you, bro. I Loki feel bad for that nigga at that point, bro. Why? Bro basically dumped the entire clip in him and plastered him on the wall. Yo, that's just brutal. So then he's like, all right, police girl, you're up. But, sir, she's too far away. Bitch. Okay, and <laughs> use your eyes, bitch. Come on, now use that aimbot I just gave you. Come on, now toggle that shit. Shoot the bitch, Nadia. <laughs> Wow, excellent shot, police girl. My goodness, that aimbot was so well, I have to tell Roberta at the next meeting. So then the next night, Alucard's out here clearing out this whole building, and he's like, hey, police girl, you need to come on up in here and get some points. You best hurry before the round's over, or else you're not going to be able to hit the mystery box. So after they finish clearing out the entire place, Saris is like, yes, my star, we did it. Yes, excellent round, police girl. Now let's go hit the box and... <laughs> ah, shit. Amazing grace, Anderson. Yep. how sweet the sound. Amen. What's good, Nicole? One name is Father and the Son, and I 
am here to praise the word of God. Uh, Master, my back. My back. Yeah, that's right. You like that, nyoko? I just spread the name of the Lord by blowing out your back. Huh? And you next, nyoko. So what's good? What's really? And to be honest, when I was started, when I reacted to most of the Alucard songs and such, especially with the, if you remember, I did a reaction this year to Rustage's Alucard versus Dio rap battle with Rustage being Alucard and Schwabity being Dio. When he was saying about, you be wishing for something about Alexander Allison. Now, now that I watch the show, now I got the bar real good. Let go on, duh. So they started to get to scrapping and Alucard busted Captain Anderson's forehead. But this man gets up and cuts off his head. Clean decapitation. And bro's like, yes, that's right. Should have paid your tithes and offerings on Sunday service, nigga. And where that little girl go? So Sarah's took off with Alucard's head. But dude threw the knife and pinned his head on the wall. And dog starts saying, Look, girl, allow me to start reading you a verse. Now I made this one up. Anderson 316. Thou shalt art me dragging my balls across your face, nigga. Amen. You can uh, look. I know this is not a good reputation. Don't fault me for what I just said. But this is not a good repit. Basically, this is not a good like how pastors are. Look, don't do not get in me in the comments. So yeah. Will pull up off the Zaza and she like, hey, Pastor, you best chill out, cuz I'm zooted out my mind, but I still bust a cap in your ass, cuz. Oh, mm. by the Integrity way, Integrity had no dead, chill. It ain't gonna be that easy to kill him, dog. Yeah. So so back alive. Like, hmm, looks like I need more preparation and prayer for this one. The nigga is a vampire. I don't give a damn. How Look, I may be a. In a way, you won't say I'm a. I'm not Christian at all, but I ain't one of those, like heavy on heavy christians you want to believe what you want to believe cool that's on you but all i'm saying is with alucard there's no amount of prayers in the world could get this nigga to go away that easily i'm sorry don't you worry though no, i'll be back huh? i'll be back to spread the name of my lord and savior jesus christ so later on after they had their fight with anderson the housing manor ends up getting invaded by luke valentine in this ugly nigga from texas i'll be honest with you though sound like he from louisiana <laughs> he out here doing wood and p90s now that this nigga from ohio <laughs> so meanwhile luke valentine pulls up on alucard in his deep dark dungeon you know what you know no 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 first of all you should look at the red flags right here my boy if yeah. you see a nigga if he ha yeah that's already when you pull up and you see that you that you see this area and this nigga alucard is sitting all alone in here no th no windows or nothing like that and you see him sitting like this automatically run nigga just run sitting in a chair all alone in some big ass dark room and he's looking like he doesn't have a care in the, the world. world after you just run. bust it open his wall nah buddy you walk run. into this one yourself bro's like my name is luke valentine pleasure to meet you oh, oh don't get it twisted i know who you are with your little pretty ass luke valentine now let's see a little nigga do you know who i am or what i am <laughs> you're a vamp wrong i'm a warrior Oh, oh, and it looks like it's my the lucky day because your little pretty ass and busted down my door ready to offer up your booty. <laughs> booty? Yes. Booty is more important than food. Booty is more important than drinking water. Mm. If I see a little pretty motherfucker I like, I tell him like this one right here. I like you. He like The booty water, that freaking... That freaking... Shout out to Boondocks, man. <laughs> and I won't. And he won't. Now we can do this the an easy way, way or the, the hard, hard way. way. The, the choice, choice is yours. yours. What you want, Luke? What's it gonna be? I, I, I asked you a question, Luke. I can't hear you, Luke. Speak up, nigga. I, I don't want to answer. I, 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 excuse me, I ain't hear you, Luke. You better answer. <laughs> oh, sound like to me. You want it the hard way. You want to take it the hard way, then, nigga. All right. Hey, why you think you gonna bring your little fat ass back here? Ah! <laughs> I didn't say what fucking niggas. <laughs> Oh, no. I told you, nigga, 
you try to just toss that easy way. Now come on, take your pants off. Whip that booty out. Let's do that thing. Come on, hurry, hurry. Get freaky with me. No! Oh, brother, now I see what you really are. I thought you had that dog and you like me, but no. Shout out to Chainsaw no. Man. You're a bitch. <laughs> So yeah, that was Exhibit A, and it's finally time to move on to Exhibit B. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you Exhibit B, Vamp Anthem. So they end up going to Rio. And you see, with this exhibit specifically, we will be focusing on this man's lack of giving a f I mean, this man wanted smoking when he walked in the hotel. Bro at the front desk was like, um, excuse me, sir, but we do not allow big personal items like- Okay, and nigga, the f you could suck my dick all I care. So he starts using Jedi mind tricks on this man. You can suck my dick for 99 cents. I can suck your dick for 99 cents. Yeah, the fact that if a nigga like Anakar pulls up to and he start using freaking Star Wars type methods of mind controlling you nigga, automatically, Right then and there, when I don't care if he wants to be friendly with you or not. Whenever, whatever he wants, you better give it to him. And I don't, and with no freakiness or whatever, all I'm saying is, with Alucard, he don't give a damn. <laughs> You better just say yes. That's all I gotta say. Just say yes. Perfect. Now hurry the f up with my bag. So later on that Thanks. night, they end up getting raided by a SWAT team because of some random false allegation or something. So they bust in like they playing Siege and just start unloading on homie. Well, hey, hey, hey. I guess these NPC ass background characters haven't learned yet. So bro got up and just started going crazy. Talk to them. Damn, call an ambulance. I mean, shit, what the f an ambulance you saw what happened them niggas dead dead forget the ambulance just go get just put them in the cemetery already the fuck the ambulance that got him in his mouth exactly so then the last yeah, dude pause. was backed up on the door and he was like you know what it was a good life bitch yeah nah nah it was crazy bro look at his face bro was in disgust that he Pussy. yeah that car is the type of guy like you, you come in, it's basically like with this. You wanted to bring all that big energy and such, right? Coming with them guns, start, right? Then you put up on a real nigga like Alucard, where he took all your bullet shots. He took them all. Instead of, inst he did the reverse Pokemon. Instead of gotta catch them all, he took them all, right? He took all them bullets. And now that when he came up now, one of you, now that he brought the smoke to you, after you done brought your version of a smoke to him, you see him here, right? What you do? <laughs> you ended your own self, nigga? Nah. To him? Yeah, I, that would be a bitch move right there. To him, not to me. Face! Bro was in disgust. Like you bitch ass nigga. I was born away from a UAV. So then Sarah comes over and she says, Master, these are real humans. <laughs> okay, and? But sir. Look, girl, do you think I give a flying f How would you feel if somebody off themselves before you get your fing UAV? They can lick my balls from hell all I care. Now get your head in the game. We about to edit this bitch out. Uh, yes, sir. Hello, master. Permission to go crazy. My ultimate is ready. With one death blossom, I will air this entire bitch out. All right, permission granted. Just go ahead, clear the point, cut. And oh boy, this man just nonchalantly walks outside. It just starts going crazy. Oh my God. He let it rip. So then they, they try to escape, them. but this man puts a mind trick on this man and starts making him open and close the door. I throw this crazy ass nigga out. I shoot him, cop. 
What's good, nigga? Hey, how y'all doing? Anybody willing to lick a nigga balls for five dollars? I uh, see. No takers? Alright, then your funeral. Bitch. A few moments later. Shit, it took. The rest of the SWAT team and makes them land on each flagpole individually. So then this Tony Montana looking to come up and he like, hey boy, you willing to play a game of cards? Cards? <laughs> yeah, shut up and run my face. So they start fighting and look at all this collateral damage, bro. You see, this is why I really don't get this in anime, bro. Why would you sit around and watch something in the stands like a tournament arc or something? You yeah, like what the hell? Getting you see, sh you see shit like this happening from key blasts to gunshots to kamikamehas. And instead of y'all do like a normal person, anime or not, do what a normal person would do and get the f out of there. Nah, you want to stand there and get in the middle of the blast. And spammed around like, come on, let's be real. One of those is end up gonna hit the stands and somebody's gonna die. This exactly. This right here is an accurate representation of what would happen if a tournament arc was real. So later on, they get on top of this roof. So then Alucard like, is like, mm, hey, anime logic, I guess. That dog. But I must warn you, when that dog come out, I turn into a warrior and not just your average warrior, nigga. So then police girls start shooting these big ass cannons. So she ends up making a smoke screen and oh God. Oh, Tony. No, 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 let me make this easy for you. We just gonna do it the hard way. <laughs> I told you, nigga, I'm a warrior. I like you, and that's all I need to say. Oh, yeah. Mm. Now, 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 see, look, if you didn't send that SWAT team up there, we could have did this the easy way, but we had to do it the hard way. So that's what you're gonna get the hard way. <laughs> Nah, bro, this man is an absolute lunatic. He must be stopped. Any red bros mind and figured out that the people that's been behind this the entire time is the literal <clears throat> can't say that name. So uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you some context clues. A World War II party back in the 1940s led by a guy with a terrible mustache. Like, come on. I know y'all past history, right? It's like the easiest subject ever. I mean, look, this little furry cat boy has a message for us. Bruh. Ah, Nico, what the fuck is going on? Fix the screen! Let's just oh, say... It rhymes with... Rotten Flamer. Let's just say it's a certain hand sign that... I do not... It's something like this, but pointed straight up. Right? You see what my hand is? Is it like this? But pointed straight up. Major, but oh, for this video, we should call me Edward Rick Toffin. <laughs> Who the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. You sound so pussy through that damn screen. Do you think that anybody wants to sit here and listen to your fat ass talk about war and shit? <laughs> Newsflash, nigga, you lost the war. Because all y'all niggas is pussy. You know what? How you like it if I put this gun in this little cat boy mouth? Huh? You like that? You like that, nigga? Damn! Damn! He shot that nigga in the mouth! So, you know, oh. after that <laughs> happened, and uh, Anderson and Alucard started uh, playing Rock'em Sock'em in the favela. And nah, nah, <laughs> look at Anderson's face, bruh. We're like, ah. Look, all I'm saying is, if any, look. I'm glad for my pastor that I have, right? Because if anyhow you see a pastor who's like this, get switched to another, not even switch to another church, switch to another freaking religion. Because I'm sorry. Well, not even just no religions. Because nigga, what the hell? <laughs> I came to spread the name of Christ just for your bitch ass to up my goddamn glasses. You need some prayer. So later on, this crazy lanky hoe. Oh my goodness, look at that 
build. Homegirl built like Slender Man. So Melania ass. ended up taking over this entire ship. So they're trying to figure out what to do. And of course, this man comes up and says, I know one way to get on that ship. Meanwhile. <laughs> uh, sir, what is that lanky booty hole doing? <laughs> I don't know, Cup, but she been cranking that shit all night. Oh, oh, God, do you hear that? Sir, somebody's pumping the hot shit. Alucard, it's the smoker himself. Yeah, he just really rammed the jet into the ship. Nigga made himself a cruise missile. And this man just hops out that hole unscathed. Yeah, but look at her face. She she knows yeah. she's finna. You went from dancing like a booty girl, dancing all that hot shit like you were like you were hot. Was it like that? Uh, what's it, what they always say? Like you was hot girl summer and such, right? Look what happened now. You're scared of shit when you see a real nigga just a, a motherfucker just came out of nowhere with a jet and freaking say banzai on your ass. When banzai on your ass. Kamikaze on your ass. Came out alive. Yeah, you want to act all scared now? And look at him. He like, I've come to collect your booty. Your ah, shit. Shall be mine. But then some of the soldiers that survived started. When they gonna realize that, like three times now, right? Alucard's been getting shot throughout the show by many other people when are they gonna realize them guns don't work for shit they don't like nigga is either you getting some is either you gonna dip your guns in holy water or something because then guns don't work for shit nope. So he transformed and wiped the floor with him. So then Shotty over here sit in a corner crying and shit. And then there he was, towering over her <laughs> lanky ass. Oh, Rip Van Winkle. I like you. And, and I, I want you. Yeah. So let's go ahead and get it over with. Start shaking ass. I will not be taking that easily. Oh, so I guess we're doing this high oh, way. So she starts shooting this man with her aim. They might as well just keep on taking that. bites the bullet. Oh, Lord have mercy. Oh, 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 guess what I just called, boo -boo. <laughs> So the legends are true. He's a warrior. He damn right he is. <laughs> the dog picks him up and starts That's shooting a, the dog. That was a him? That was a him? The... Look, I, I mean, look, with some of these anime, right? For especially when it comes to the male characters. You can't know if it's a him. And I'm not trying to be sexist or whatever, but let's face it. The way how that male look at that male character. Even if in this punch scene. Tell me that don't look like it's a woman. And it's just I just and it's not look. Don't get at me, because like I said. Anime logic, so you cannot fault me if that don't look like a woman. <laughs> the dog picks him up and starts shoving the gun in her. Oh my Jesus Christ! I can't do this, bro. I can't make this video no more, bro. This nigga started impaling her with her own gun. Oh, I like that. I like that. I like that. Impaler, Boy, that take milk off. <laughs> <laughs> Exhibit C. <laughs> Alright, ladies. Damn. So vicious that he had to just go straight into Exhibit C. Don't even say that was the end of Exhibit B. He just went straight on to Exhibit C. <laughs> I now present to you our final exhibit. Whole lot of red. Playboy well, card he likes. Stuck out at sea for a long time. London has turned into straight hell. You got Millennium, aka the you know what's out here terrorizing everybody. Then you got Homeboy right here, like. What is that melody? And on the hey, other Cardi. side, you have the literal. Oh, not again, not again. I thought we buried this after the X Arm video. But no. 
Okay. Oh no, they're back, hailing all the way from Harrison, fucking Arkansas. The triple K's. Jesus Christ, help me right now. So Alucard <laughs> finally pulls up to the battlefield after looking like the flying. And to be honest, look, when I was watching the show, I didn't even care that it was like the KKK. Yes, I'm saying it because look at it. Because there's many videos on it on YouTube. If somehow my video gets a copyright claim or whatever and such, all because I said the word, said the word, and yet there's many other videos on YouTube that has it in such, if I, boy, it would be stupid. But either way, yeah. I was so, in tr like, visualized by how many chaos and what Alucard was doing and shit, I didn't even recognize that those were like the KKK. I didn't. Dutchman coming off this haunted ass ship, and this man stands right in the middle of everybody and he's like, oh my, what the hell is going on here? On one side, we have a bitter party that's still mad because they lost the war. And on the other side, we have the white hooded crusaders who's mad at every single race because their wives got on black.com <laughs> all of your booties will be consumed so everybody either way no matter which side you look at it fuck them <laughs> jumping this man everybody just start shooting but dear god it was too late this man used the level zero release this nigga basically opened the gates of hell and released every single dead opposition. Dog is literally flooding the streets with every single soul that he has consumed. They like, oh my god, you monster! How many booties have you consumed? So it's true. You are him, the vampiric booty warrior, Dracula! But I mean, come on, y'all. I mean, if it ain't obvious, the dude's name is literally just Dracula spelled exactly like what do they expect? Like, nigga, you see right there, his li his name is literally f like why you think why you think fucking Schwabity said in his verse in the when he was rapping as Dio, you got it backwards like your name. What do you think that meant? Yes, that was probably dissing at him, but what do you think that meant? That it's literally Dracula spelled backwards, nigga. Like what? Backwards. So after he finished impaling and shish kebabbing everybody, Cyrus is like, wow, master, you've become a chad. My goodness, your jawline is crispy. But then this man Anderson come out of nowhere this nigga, to this spread nigga. the name of the Lord from the top rope. Thank you. Ooh, la la, Anderson. Do you want that booty taken as well? You can eat my dick, Nico. Get ready for some prayer. So they started scrapping, then Alucard decided to switch back to the dual blockies. So Brush shoots off like the man's tricep, continues to raise the dead, and beating the brakes off of him. And he's like, come on, Anderson. Try to kill me, nigga. So then Anderson pulls out this nail. And Alucard is like, hey, bro, uh, you sure you want to do that? To spread the name of the Lord? Then it shall be done. So Alucard walks up and flicks him in the head. But this man Anderson done turned into like a thorn monster or something. And this man Alucard pissed. He like, God damn it, Anderson. How dare you turn into a monster, you bitch nigga? So then Alucard. So the fact that Alexander. So the fact that Anderson is having the same type of shit. But somehow it's relit God or so. Look. Don't get me wrong. Hear me out. This look now. This is like a little Christian part of me saying this. The power of God always is gonna come down, no matter what way. It's how. It's like this. As long as you doing things the right way and such, God will bless you with anything that you will come. It's all a matter of timing and when it's gonna happen. Not if it's gonna happen. When it's gonna happen. Because we all know it. But I'm just saying. And that may be the Christian side of me saying that, right? But the realistic side of me, not saying that will, not saying like that's bad or anything, but let's face it, the realistic side of me, 
No, I don't care how much you say I'm wrong or so, I don't give a damn. No amount of God power is willing for, you know what, is willing for me to have this type of power right here. Whatever God you, whatever God he is praying for, that ain't no God of mine. Because <laughs> no God of mine will make me still be alive and have this type of power, straight up. Like a thorn monster or something. And this man, Alucard, pissed. He like, God damn it, and this is how dare you turn into a monster, you bitch nigga. So then Alucard gets stabbed in the head, and then we finally get his backstory. Uh, back in the day, I would used to get me cheeks clapped daily, but I would always pray to God. My real name is Vlad, and I'm from Wallachia. I don't even know if I pronounced that shit correctly. <laughs> I went to rule it and I fought everybody. Tatakai. Eren Yeager. Oh, I got off topic. I <laughs> held people because I just felt like it. Nobody could stop me. The Ottoman Empire could lick my balls. But I was caught and executed. I drank the blood and became Dracula. And was that sad? Anderson, give me your booty, nigga. What does that rip out Anderson's heart and crushes it? Fantastic. <laughs> Mortal come back his ass. Well, it was a good laugh. I got to spread the name of God in the holy word. <laughs> I ain't get to eat your booty, nigga. <sighs> Quit crying, ho ass nigga, and praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. But then this zesty ass off brand Alfred. Oh, oh my God, Walter, way to ruin a moment, buddy. Okay, yeah, so long story short, yo, this man Walter just betrayed everybody. Nigga turned into a secret boss battle and copied Doflamingo's moveset. So Alucard says, I ain't good. Master, please allow me to pack this nigga and take his booty. So before they start scrapping, Alucard like, Ooh, Walter, Walter, I've been waiting for this day. You see, Walter, I've been scoping your ass out since 1944. So let's go ahead and get it over with and do it the hard. So they started fighting and Walter is actually smacking Alucard around. Like dog is getting dragged. Bro pulled out the dog, beat up the dog. Then Luke Valentine ends up coming out of the dog. Wait, hold on, pause. So Walter starts using dude as a puppet. So then he blinks homie in the face. But then Walter strings up Alucard and stabs him. But it wasn't him the entire time. Hey, Walter. Oh, look at you. Your body's wearing down and shit now. And you turn into a child, but it's okay. It's okay, though. Because I did the same thing. That's right. It's a blast from the past. Witness me, little nigga. Lolly card. <laughs> yeah, this man turned himself into an entire little girl. And if you want to know why, you're going to have to go watch an OVA. Just know homie was rocking this back in the 1940s. So it's like, come on, pussy. Oh, yeah, come and did, fight. Didn't he say he did? Me. You know you want some of this, right? You down bad EDP, some bitch. So bruh starts making you down bad EDP, some shit. Hey, the f and boy, oh boy, did I hear that this nigga's back on Twitter? Not Twitter, sorry, on freaking TikTok. It's just, bro, what kind of a man? You know what? Whatever. Making rivers of blood. And he's losing his mind. Look at his zesty ass stance. Come on, Walter. You know you want freaking, it. So he grabs him. If I'm not mistaken, why that's freaking a Playboy party like type beat playing he's in the about background? To kill him, but y'all remember the little cat boy? Yeah. Uh, he's still he alive. Literally off himself oh. and uh, Alucard absorbed him. And he became a paradoxical cat. So now he's shackled by infinite possibilities. So now he's everywhere and nowhere and is multiplied by like a million lives that he's consumed and he can't even recognize himself okay yeah long story short they caught our boy slipping
So 30 years pass, and he finally comes back after he was trapped inside of his own self and had to off himself 3,424,867 times. Damn. And he's like, oh, just another day at the office. No, can I get a taste? And with the final Finally. member taking his seat, the second phase of the round table is concluded. Hey, shout out to CJ the champ, man. What can I say? When it comes to CJ the champ, bro, he does not miss. You see why his channel is big and such. But yeah, with Alucard, Alucard is just a straight up gangster like that. The man is like literally does not give a damn who you is. He don't care if you think you all that hot shit or whatever. If you want, if he, if you're coming to him with smoke, rest assured he is definitely is gonna come back on down. Same type of energy. But hey. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about this in the comments below. And I know this was a long ass video. At the time when I like I'm seeing this, it's like 40 minutes in and such. But hey, y'all let me know what y'all thought about this in the comments below. It's been your boy Homo Ziggy signing out. Stay positive and keep the vibes up. Lego.